Can, if we can move on to the another S, whilst we've got you here, which is solubility. Solubility, right. <laughs> um, there's obviously a, a big um, drive towards improving solubility from a sort of both a time and, and a cost perspective. Why is this strategically so important for the pharmaceutical industry to get to get right? Um, I think the the key issue is related to uh, the biopharmaceutics uh, of, of compounds. Uh, and as you're probably aware, uh, the biopharmaceutical classification system was initiated by Amadon and others in the mid-90s. And that classified compounds according to solubility and permeability. Uh, and typically what we've seen in the industry is a drive towards BCS class 2 compounds, low solubility and high permeability. Mm -hmm. And that's not by design, that's actually by accident. We have um, high throughput chemistry, combinatorial chemistry, and what that's done has driven up the molecular weight of the compounds, driven up the lipophilicity, and as a result, we're either left with compounds with um, very low solubility, either what we would term brick dust or grease balls, you know, yeah. grease balls being ones with very high lipophilicity. Now that is obviously not good. That that's moving out of non uh, into non-druggable, intractable development space, mm. and it's because of the nature of combinatorial chemistry, where uh, it's easier to add on functional groups, add on molecular weight, than it is to take it off. So GSK, along with a lot of the industry, uh, is sort of trying trying to drive down towards more druggable, tractable targets. So with the idea that we reduce the overall molecular weight to around about 250 Daltons, we try and reduce the lipophilicity uh, of the molecules that, that we're developing. And hopefully the, the logical secretor of all that will be to improve aqueous solubility. Because at the end of the day, aqueous solubility is uh, a prerequisite uh, and is it, it's intrinsically linked to the exposure of, of the molecule. Interesting. So is there anything else um, uh, apart from the uh, identification of druggable, trackable targets that you're doing within GSK, specifically within the efficiency of solubility? Yeah, I think one of the things that we've developed uh, within house is a, a modification of the BCS system, uh, and, yeah. and we call it perhaps rather unoriginally the DCS system, the development classification system. Okay. So it's very similar. It's a, it's a four box model, but what we look at is uh, biorelevant solubility, yeah. um, permeability, and anticipated clinical dose. And then rather than uh, use um, solubility, we use a ratio of solubility and predicted clinical dose. Right. And in addition, what we've done is we've separated the BCS class two, uh, the classical low solubility, high permeability into two. Um, one part which we term DCS2A is uh, those compounds which are Dissolution, dissolution rate limited, yeah. and 2B as those which are solubility rate, rate limited. And the, the essence behind it is that it provides us with some um, intelligent formulation design. So if we see that a compound is within DCS2A, which is dissolution rate limited absorption, we know that um, size reduction strategies alone, either micronization or wet bead milling, uh, are probably adequate. In 2B, we're probably going to have to go to more esoteric, more elegant formulation designs such as solid dispersions, solid dis uh, uh, solutions, and soft gels, which include lipidic uh, type excipients. Um, so I think, think that is a, a, a really neat way to use uh, what is essentially an in silico tool, very little um, experimental input is needed. All you need is biorelevant solubility, permeability, which you can either measure from KCO2 cell lines, or indeed you can predict from the in silico tool, 
and whatever your predicted clinical dose is. And then on that basis, you can drive forward and, and you can know what your formulation strategy is, not just for um, clinical uh, development, but also for toxicology development as well. So it, it's mm. quite a powerful tool. Mm.